Hey there guys, Nurse Mike coming to you from the shores of beautiful Lake George, New York. Now the sun just went down, so I probably don't need these. But uh, I'm going to talk to you today, well, let's just fix this a little. It's a little better, the lighting's kind of iffy, but that's alright. So I want to talk to you guys today about eating when you're away from home. Now when we're home, it's easy. You know, you go out, you make your food, you prepare, no problem. You know, you throw stuff in the crock pot and you got stuff all week. But when you're away, things get a little stranger. You know, you go out to restaurants, uh, those long road trips become difficult. So what I've done, uh, so I got up here to Lake George yesterday. Uh, one of the first things I did uh, is I went to the local supermarket. Now, every, you know, most hotels have a, a fridge in them. So I went and picked up a few cheese sticks, picked up some diet drinks, you know, some iced tea. Uh, I don't need to worry about stuff in the hotel. Now, if I want to go to dinner, that's a different story. For instance, I went out with my wife last night, uh, and we ordered some food. I ordered an Italian dish. We had chicken. So it was this huge plate of food. Um, and I ate my three, four ounces of my chicken, had a little bit of potato, a little bit of spinach. Good to go. We don't have to be afraid of eating out. And I think that's important. Um, I am actually tomorrow is six months out for me. And okay, let's just do the numbers. Everybody wants to know. Uh, surgery weight 349. <clears throat> Current weight, some of you know this, 199. And I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. And that's the important thing. Uh, some of you know I went out, I, uh, I bought new scrubs the other day because I'm a nurse. Surprise. Uh, my scrub size went from 3x to medium um, and I'm just starting now uh, to understand that that I look much much thinner um, and it feels great uh, again you know anybody who's done this for a little while knows uh, getting the surgery is the best thing I ever did in my life um, next to you know getting married and finishing school and all those things uh, I feel amazing I'm, I'm Anybody who knows Lake George a little bit, I'm at the Sagamore Hotel, uh, and it's this huge, expensive compound um, with a lot of walking trails, and uh, I'm up here with my wife. She's at a conference, and she's doing her thing all day, and all I've been doing for the last two days is walking around, you know, and I'm not out of breath, and I'm not sore, and there's, you know, these 500 steps to get up and down to the, to the waterfront, and I've been up them. I can't tell you how many times and it feels great um, so back to the food thing um, don't be afraid of food guys you know we can't eat a lot we know that um, I fill up very quickly these days eat what you want <clears throat> um, there's a, a nurse practitioner who works in my doctor's office and she talks about the three bite rule uh, and she says that if you go out, you know, if you need that sweet or if you need that dessert, order it. Have two, three bites. Savor those bites. That's the important thing. You know, I don't know if you're anything like me, but when I used to go out, I'd have a piece of cheesecake and a piece of chocolate cake and some cannolis and this and that and the other thing. I'd eat, you know, I'd fill my face with desserts and sweets. Now, I can order a piece of cheesecake and I can have two or three bites and be done with it because I savor what I eat and I actually taste the food I eat you know we eat very slowly these days and that's important because when you eat slow like that you can savor what you're eating so I encourage everyone go out to dinner yeah it may cost you some money and you're gonna take home a doggy bag that's gonna last you for a week and a half um, but don't be afraid to eat the food you want to eat. Just know that we're not going to eat a tremendous amount of it. Now, for those who are starting the process, don't do that day one. Don't go out tonight and go to your favorite restaurant when you had surgery yesterday. Use your head, guys. But if you're out several months uh, and you're recovering and you're, you're getting into your routines, do what you enjoy. Um, the caveat to all this is do what your doc says. You know, if you want to do what I do, it's fine. I, I think I'm uh, so far pretty successful since my surgery. 
Um, so you can do what I do, and, and, and good luck to you, and hope you have good results. Uh, but I do what works for me. Um, you need to talk to your doctors and your support groups uh, and find out what's going to work for you. So, with that said, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this sunset, which is getting there. It's almost down. And uh, I think I'm going to go out to dinner again with my wife tonight. I'm going to get a nice small meal. And uh, life is good. So uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Be good.